Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on great fall specials like glamorous diamond pendants and earrings to complete any look. Now 60% off. And get ready for cooler nights ahead with 65% off Charter Club damask sheets and bedding. Now at Macy's. Plus, get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in store. Or try same day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. You know, I remember the day where they said, look, don't leave valuable stuff in your car that burglars can see because they'll do a smash and grab. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't think toilet paper would be smash and grab worthy, but <laughs> oh, no. a Florida man was arrested yesterday for stealing toilet paper, and it happened at one in the morning, and he stole it from his neighbor's car. Well, you hear about all these people that leave like their backpacks in their car, and you're like, yeah, look, I don't want, you don't deserve to have it stolen, but what the hell are you doing? Exactly. You're leaving it there, you're enticing these criminals. That's what this guy. Could you do me a favor? Would you look at my son Joe when you say that? Because uh, he's had his car broken into, and he had his yeah, stuff there, and I yeah, he, he doesn't seem to understand that. I mean, it seems like a no brainer. Uh, again, uh, you know, my son Joe, who what? yeah, yeah, just dude, uh, give him a break. He's, yeah, he's going through some tough times right now. Oh, really? The NBA is not happening. March Madness is now March Sadness. Yeah, it really is. Poor guy can't get his crap together. He's upset. They've canceled the St. Patrick's Day festivities, which he and Danny were planning on basically not remembering any of it. Oh, we're still going, so it's good. (laughs) I mean, you guys can just go to someone's house and just drink alcohol. That's exactly my point. I have all the Irish whiskey and Guinness beer, so we're good to go, whatever happens. All right. Boom. Well, uh, make sure... You lock up your toilet paper, you know, right. because you never know who's going to come into your house and walk out with toilet paper. And you laugh. I, I'm laughing about this as I'm saying it, but this guy, that's what he did. He went into an unlocked truck's back seat, and here's what he didn't swipe all the toilet paper, just a roll. <laughs> oh, that's all he needed. Yeah, that's. It was a six right. pack of Smart and Simple bath tissue, my, one of my favorite brands, mm-hmm. uh, and it sells for a dollar. Yeah, this is not one of your favorite brands. Mr. At Dollar General Newton. Store, uh, <laughs> you don't know how I live. Yeah, I don't think you're purchasing. I don't even know what that stuff is going to feel like on your backside, but I'd imagine it's close to sandpaper. You laugh about this, but I have a story about that a little bit later. But uh, I will tell you this: that uh, the retailer is currently out of stock, so the dollar store right now is probably like the million dollar store when it comes to toilet paper. Um, and yeah, got arrested for it. And, um, it says, his, it says it was his neighbor. So yeah. they, they, so they're neighbors. It's not like he's just some rando that was walking the neighborhood. Well, you can't trust all your neighbors. I agree with that a hundred percent. I mean, the neighbors that are riding me, man, they would steal my toilet paper. I'm positive of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm and, just looking at this dude. Uh, yeah. Apparently he's a big guy. So it was like very easy to be able to figure out who it was. But what really gave it away is when they said, Hey, did you steal the toilet paper? He's like, no. Apparently he had the toilet paper stuffed in his front pocket. <laughs> Oh, so people he, he wasn't just happy to see people. It was the toilet paper. Wow. He kind of looks like, he kind of reminds me of Hurley from Lost. I was thinking that too. It looks like Hurley who had a bad day. Yeah. It's like, wow, Hurley. Man, you're in the hatch. I can see why you need some toilet paper. They didn't refill it for you? Or more like hipster Hurley. Uh, yeah. Hipster Hurley swiping a, again, one roll from a six pack that you can buy for a dollar. At the dollar store. Now, do you think uh, he was being preemptive or this was like a, oh, man, I don't have any toilet paper. And I need to get some. Yeah. It sounds like that. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah, especially if maybe you know what he was. It was you know it was Tuesdays. He was getting tacos. Maybe that you know you don't know what he was going in. <laughs> like I, I could see the rev swiping toilet paper. You know, if it was an emergency. Well, I've done it in the past when I was working security. There we go. See, there's your guy. Now, I'd like to say something, Steve. You said, oh, there's no way you'd have uh, this from the Dollar General store. I don't think you know my wife and some of her friends. Okay, I don't know your wife and some of her friends. Do you, does anybody else do this? My wife and her friends have toilet paper for regular people and then her own toilet paper that she brings out. You've got to be kidding oh, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't get well, it. Well, it's called the good toilet paper. And, uh, it's not like hand towels, man. What the hell is going oh, on Oh, there's different. Well, it's good. That, look. You, do you want to waste the good toilet paper on other people, or do you want to give them oh, the bargain so stuff? so they're not even giving the good toilet paper to the guests? Right. That's terrible. I know. I mean, wow. I, 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 I get out and visit my wife, and, and if I'm, I'm using the visitor's bathroom, if you will, the guest bathroom, and I'm like, what is with this toilet paper? Oh, let me put out the good stuff. I'm sorry. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? She goes, That's oh. That's terrible. I'm like, well, she goes, my friend did this, and I thought, well, it's a, it saves cash. I feel like it'd be the other way around. I'd want to show off to my friends, like, hey, I can't care about your tushy here's the nice I, toilet paper you know vicky i would think so too that's yeah, how I, it used to be in life i would put zero thought into this whatever toilet paper that i purchase wow. is going to be the toilet paper that goes into all the bathrooms in my house there's zero could effort I, um, to try and keep the good toilet paper from someone could i pause uh, uh and and know that that of course so you wouldn't give any thought to it in any way shape or form it doesn't matter i know that about you well i mean really when this is what we're doing in life it, it, we're deciding hey! on who deserves what when it comes to toilet paper florida buddy okay my wife's ahead of the curve. Oh, my goodness That's gracious. terrible. You guys, Someone says, I do that. The good TP's in my bathroom. The cheap stuff is downstairs. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, you're buying a yeah. package of good toilet paper and then a package of cheap-ass toilet paper? Now you know what's happening. They should just call it cheap-ass toilet paper. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> There's a brand called Cheap-Ass Games, and I don't know why they're not in the toilet paper she business, that, because yeah. that's a great name for toilet paper, cheap-ass toilet paper. See, we have uh, the standard TP, but we only have single ply at the house why? because I want people to use my bidet. Uh, they oh need gosh. to use my bidet in order to get themselves clean. But and then they can can do you tell them when they're going in there, hey, don't forget, there's a bidet in there for a reason? Yes, when they come into my house and say, welcome to my home, the bathroom is on the left, feel free to use the bidet. Can I ask a question, though? How do you dry yourself off? Do you use the single ply? No. Oh, oh. so you do use you the squirt bidet. squirt with the bidet? Yeah, you squirt with the bidet, and then you uh, dry off using the uh, teepee. Oh. It's just a quick, and it's usually very clean, <laughs> but it'll dry off uh, the backside. All right. This, I mean, I don't know how knee deep do we want to get into this conversation, but once <laughs> you make toilet might be the wrong phrase. <laughs> once you get toilet paper wet, it starts like f- falling apart. Oh, so all of a sudden, yeah, you got you got little stragglers. Yeah, especially well, if you're not like you know, if you're not like Danny, you don't get a Brazilian. Yeah, you might. You can I mean, sit there, shake it off a little bit, get a little bit of the drip dry off. going, and then you just uh, a couple swipes and you're good. It's that's, not like it soaks your butt. That's why when I go to Rev's house, I just use his bath towels. Yeah, <laughs> what? Good call. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, I wasn't supposed to say. And that. Rev, the single ply does fall apart. I mean, it, 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 Steve's question is valid. That Thank will fall you. apart and stick to where you don't want it to stick to more so, I think, than the good stuff, right? Uh, I haven't found any issues with that. Well, that's because you're really not examining down there because it's a war zone. Oh well, you'll, I'll let you know that I do examine it very thoroughly because it, in fact, is a war zone. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Do you have like a mirror down there too, so you can see what's up? How do you? He's examine? got mirrored floor, floors in his bathroom. You didn't oh. know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah how you, you haven't been to my house. Yeah, I don't know how you would know if you've got uh, you know some uh, some dingleberry uh, infested. How would you know that? Go Mariners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I hope they still have the concessions, even though they're canceling the like the season. Can we still go to T-Mobile Park and get the concessions, even though there's no games? See, I'm a fan of that ultra strong Charmin. That's, oh yeah, that's my yeah. jam. I mean, that's what can't can't you like basically you know wrap a person up in it and keep them warm forever? Yes. Yeah, actually, I, what I do is just tape it from one end of the wall to the other and use it like as a hammock. Oh, nice! Yeah, I hadn't thought of doing that. So there you go, toilet paper, ladies and gentlemen. See, that's I'm looking what it's online. Come to. Yeah, you could get. All these rolls of toilet paper from Charmin for just like twenty bucks. I don't understand why why people are going so cheap. Oh, it's well, I, I can you can you order that now because shelves are bare. My buddies in Massachusetts just on Target. Stuff. I could get twenty four rolls. Oh, Danny saying no twenty three ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, I went to Safeway last night because the girlfriend kind of had one of those. Uh, Hysteria scares. She was like, "Oh, we should probably go get beans and rice." There was everything. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't bad. No, no. Jeez, only- my friends are showing me pictures from Massachusetts where you know, like uh, the supermarkets there. Like, there's there's none on the shelf. The only thing they were out of was ramen. 
Oh. So apparently, we're all college. Oh, again. now we're in trouble. Yeah, we're aft. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. We got a stripper who learned a very valuable lesson. You just can't flash a cop when you are not at work. Steve will tell you all about. He's got the mix report for you at six seventeen on the Rock. BJ and Migs mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on Navian. 99.9 99.9 KISW The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the MIGS Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and that's a very special day today. Oh, yeah? It's National Donald Duck Day. Oh. Huh. Really? <laughs> okay, there we go. It's official. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't oh, do really? It. I don't know. I thought it was a masterful impression. It starts off good and then just falls apart immediately. Yeah, I don't know too many people that can do that impression Not or really even point. want to. Oh. Vicky, can you do Donald Duck? <laughs> no. The answer that's is no. That's as close as I got. Yeah, DJ, no. no you're, you're, no. you're the impression guy. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's about all I got. How the hell do they do it then? Is uh, it, there's got to be a YouTube tutorial on how to do a Donald Duck impression. You know, and I hope it's the right kind. It's not like, how do you actually do Donald Duck? I don't want to see somebody <laughs> go out in the woods and do bad things. I just don't want to see I, that. Rev, can you do Donald Duck? <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Do right, you ask Danny? Danny? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Are you the <laughs> Disney guy? What Danny that? does it the best. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He sounds like the <laughs> Peanuts parents or the teacher yeah. from Peanuts. Wah, 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 wah. Trying to do Donald Duck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, clearly none of us can do Donald Duck very well. Maybe yeah. someone can call in and give us their Donald Duck. Oh, you know, yeah. Maybe know. someone out there actually knows how to do it. And they probably teach right us. about that. A lot of, someone's got that lost art talent. Do we know if our YouTube has a tutorial? Have we looked it up How yet? to do Donald Duck? Yeah. I, I'm afraid for Vicky to type that in Google, to be honest with you. All right, well. <laughs> don't bing that, Vicky. Don't do it. Bing? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big man. Who bings? I'm a big man. Nobody buddy. bings. Bing a... doesn't even bing anymore. They're Googling. <laughs> wow. You know what? Bing forever, bitches. Oh, you're going to ask Jeeves, too, while you're at it, BJ? Uh, and also, uh, Duck, duck Go. We should probably do Duck, duck Go to go do it. Who the hell is Duck, duck Go? It's another search engine that I, I found way back. It's on my phone. Yeah, it's a super private uh, yeah. search that's engine. That's the one that Donald Duck uses, Duck, that's duck Go. That's the one where you do all the dirty stuff, huh? Well, how about Maybe. that? On YouTube, there's actually a guy that teaches you how to do the Donald Duck impression. Yeah, it's see, 11 minutes. See, you took a time. break. That should only take like two minutes to do. Right. You say that, but you know what? None of us can do it. I pro- it's probably a lifelong art. Give him 11 minutes. I mean, you teach me how to do a handstand. Okay, I, I respect an 11 minute video. Teach wow. me how to do Donald Duck. That should not take 11 minutes. You have no idea how to start. Look, it's him and some ball guy just it's talking. His dad. <laughs> okay, it's him and his dad just talking. They're not even doing it yet. Boy, you're such a baldist. I am bald. I can do whatever I want. Oh, is that how it is? Yes. Okay. I can bald shame someone if I'm bald. Okay. You can't. Well, you can kind of do it. I you can, can do it like um, I can 70% of the shame. time. Yeah, 70% of the time I can bald shame. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this woman. She's in a little bit of trouble. She's in Illinois. She's 28 years old. Why? What's happening? At around 1.30 in the morning, well, she was uh, pulled over by the cops because they're like, you know, you're, you're, you smell like alcohol. Your radio's cranked up. You're dancing in your car seat. Oh, yeah. She told the cops, look, I just got out of my job. He's like, well, where do you work? I work at Lux Showgirls. Lux with three X's. Oh, L-U-X-X-X. Yeah, baby. Woo! So then the cops like, all right, well, we have to give you a sobriety test. And she's like, I just want to keep dancing in my car while yeah, drunk. Look, 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 look at the dance moves. I don't need no sobriety test, Ossifer. Well, the cops took her to jail. She admitted she had, she had two double shots of liquor. Oh, yeah. And then at that moment, she pulled down her shirt and flashed her breast to the cop. Well, so far, I don't see where anybody's been harmed. She's off hours, man. Yeah. She was charged with a DUI. 
Okay, well, the DUI, I, be, I should probably needs it. You're not supposed to be drinking anywhere near your car. But the flashing, I just feel like, is a bonus for everybody. Uh, of course, you got to go to Florida for another story about an idiot in the news. A 23-year-old by the name of Tyler. Wednesday night, he got into an argument with someone in his house. So what did he do? He used a McDonald's burger as a weapon. What? He took a McDonald's McDouble, and he threw it at that person's head. And then he also threw a three-pound vaping device at them as well. And oh. he was arrested for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. I'm assuming the deadly weapon was the vape pen yeah. or the, the, the vape device, not the uh and the, the way, and the waste of a perfectly tasty treat. No, man. You know, you should be in jail throwing burgers away like that. Some uh, coronavirus updates, especially locally. It seems like everything is closed. If, it's, if you're wow. planning on going somewhere, just assume it's closed. Oh, yeah, you uh, think this? Including the Space Needle, man. Space, space Needle Needle's closed? It's suspending all operations for the rest of March uh, until they get things figured out. And who knows, it could be even longer than that. Yeah. When it comes to sports, like I said, everything is closed. Yeah. The NHL announced yesterday that they're suspending their season immediately. Major League Baseball, they're saying that they're pushing it back at least a couple of weeks. It could even be extended further. NCAA just announced that their March Madness tournament. Uh, originally, they said it was going to continue without fans, but now, nope. They've just yeah. canceled championships in every sport, which includes also uh, all, all like you know hockey, baseball, lacrosse as well. So Golf, yeah, golf, the TPC stuff. Uh, yep. They played one round, and then they were like, we're done. Of course, NBA, they're dealing with their issues because of uh, a few people being... Uh, uh, Contracting the coronavirus, uh, the f- football right now. Obviously, there's no word on what's going on with that because it's going to be a while until football starts up again. And they can't. They've canceled the uh, XFL season. They're done. Yep. Yeah. XFL said we're done. And it's cool though. They're paying all their players, all the the base pay and the benefits as well. And all ticket holders will be issued refunds. And they said they're committed to playing a full season in 2021. That sucks. Inaugural season. Yeah. You don't even get to finish it. That does suck. Uh, and then a bunch of other stuff as well, including a bunch of concerts. I mean, I saw Rage Against the Machine just said they're canceling uh, or postponing their tour for the time being. So that's going to affect people that were hoping to see them uh, at the Tacoma Dome, I would imagine. I'm, I'm sure more words will come out about what's going on with all of that. And uh, yeah. all major concerts pretty much have been postponed by Live Nation and AEG. Yeah, Tool was done that yesterday. They canceled it. I know. How about the people yeah. in Portland got to enjoy Tool before they canceled it? Isn't that crazy? Just like a day prior. I know that is. I, I was so shocked to see that it was happening in Portland, and then they go, "Oh, and now we're not going to do it." I'm just like, "Really, Portland? Okay." As far as weather, forty degrees. We got some rain. That's the major report, and that's what's up. All right, buddy. Apparently, it's currently snowing in Puyallup. No, oh, no. According to one texter. Yeah, I heard it was going to come down a little bit, but not stick. But it's uh, it's going to be unseasonably cold today and tomorrow, from what I hear. Yep, some rain. It's gonna be wet out there, BJ. Yeah, that's not what you want to hear. Is we're we're we we're, what we're looking for is the weather to get better, not which you know helps the virus you know season, if you will. It's like that's when we that's when we know people stop getting in, uh, viruses is when the weather gets better. But if the weather's crap, then people won't go outside, and then they don't have to worry about it, right? It's perfect uh, timing. Yeah, you just don't want to go out. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't Worse matter. For me. Yeah. I'm You're going so out. not the people you should come to for advice when it comes to how to handle this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm staying indoors and playing just, video games. Just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying in general. You know, I mean, I'm 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 going to try to live my life. I don't know. I, I I really I mean I'm gonna social distance like they say and be careful and you know every place I go they've got the Purell so I'm Purelling up like a like a madman. I love all the, the 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 jokes that come from the married people. Of course, the the the, the men out there is like I've been socially distanced from my wife for years. Waka waka. Well, hey, yo. The, the, here's the real sad thing. And this, of course, you know, you got to love headline news. Uh, you know, I get the alert on my phone and it's uh, like President Trump may ban domestic travel. And then you read the article and it was just a throwaway line. He's like, yeah, if things get really bad. We're going to have to take a look at everything. Of course. But they make it like, oh, so he said that he may have to ban travel here domestically. But you clicked, right? Well, because, yeah, I yeah, mean, that's how they get you, man. I see headlines and this is what irritates me about the media. Um, and which is why our show is really amazing. I think that, Steve, we should pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> huh? I'll tell you why. This oh is why our gosh. show's amazing. Okay, tell me, Mr. Humble. Oh, I, I'm not being humble about this. Why, I, I, I'm, why are we amazing? Because if you, uh, if you talk to any mental professional as well as any PCP worth their salt, they'll tell you the biggest reason why we catch anything is because we are stressed out and we lower our own immune systems. And if we're, if, if we're stressed out, we can't sleep. If we can't sleep, 
sleep, we don't get good, we don't get good rest. Our bodies are, you know, compromised just in general. That's how we catch stuff in the first place. So with the headlines that are out there from all this, if it bleeds, it leads culture, including like Rev's talking about clickbaiting. People are getting nervous where they don't really need to get nervous, and the media is feeding into that. Our show, we're actually putting a smile on your face. Mm. That's what we're doing most of the time. We're counteracting the effects so that you can stay healthy. Yes, we are single-handedly responsible for people staying alive. I'm telling you're you. You're welcome. As crazy as and we're it doing is, it for free. We're yeah. doing it for free. You know, you don't even have to have to fight your insurance to get nope. this go through. You don't have to even like pay out of your own pocket. <laughs> this is all free. For you, yeah. For you're folks, welcome. Yeah, yeah, you're very, very welcome. <laughs> I know you. I, I, and, and I'm not. I, I, I am not. You know, I am not saying this tongue in cheekly like you are. No, I, I know I, you. You you are very being very sincere about. I like am you're a lifesaver. I am. I, I you, you need to surround yourself with good vibes. Do we still have that cape that we used to have that would give employee of the month. Yeah, too? give me the employee <laughs> of the month. We need we need that yeah. intercom cape again, dude. Good vibes. Seriously, tell all your friends, even people that usually hate us, tell them they need to listen to us because yes. we're the only ones putting a smile on your face right. while everybody's trying to scare the crap out of you. Did your friend have the sniffles? No problem. Tell them to listen to us. They'll be cured. Yeah. I'm talking about just people that don't got anything. I mean, Dry like, cough? No yeah. problem. Listen to BJ Miggs. That's what it is. You we got it all. It. You never, so you never heard that or have you heard that? I mean, I've heard that. Yeah, sure, but like you, you don't know. believe it, do you? See, you're the you're a young punk that doesn't believe that you know what a sound mind leads to the no, sound I don't, body. I don't disagree with that. I just think it's hilarious that you want to take credit for like being the guy that's going to help people bat, feel better. Well, think about it, dude. Seriously, I mean, that's kind of what our show is. We're always we've always been a port in the storm of ridiculousness for you know what's going on in, uh, in the social media. You no, know continue what? to tell us how big your wiener is. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep talking. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm saying it because I don't think people realize how important. Like, they, people might tune in and like a show you know, like this. Text us seven seven nine nine nine. We expect thank you letters. Yes, we I, I need to read how much you appreciate what we do for you. Just get more people to be happy. I tell you to call, but I know no one calls these days. It's yeah, twenty twenty. No, you you got to text us. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I said, BJ, I haven't smiled in thirty minutes. Yeah. Oh, really? This is your fault. That's not my fault. I think it's your fault. No, you, know, you don't believe. I believe. I know. Look at Vicky's hasn't said a word. Danny said nothing. Rev said nothing. I'm the only one in this show well, that believes in the I'm power. Trying, I, I don't really necessarily want to call you out because you're trying to be like cool about this. But then also you're like, let's not be doom and gloom and then proceed to doom and gloom for 15 to 20 minutes. Who did that? You, yesterday. Oh, jeez, you're going back to yesterday. Yeah, come on, man, dude. Jesus, dude. dude. What are you living in the past, man? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you. Sorry, I'm Bro. living in the past of yesterday. Bro. It's very un Eckhart Tolle of you. Yeah, come on. It's the power of now, man, today. Jeez. We do what we do today, Let Rev. it go, brother. Listen to Elsa for crying out loud. Listen to Adina Menzel. Let it go. Okay, we were different go. people yesterday. Today, we, it yeah. makes much more sense to live in today, the present tense. As Steve has said, we are much more humble today of just because of the greatness that we provided we this community. Oh, nice. we just got a text. I hate to agree with BJ, but I slept like crap last night because I'm starting to stress about all this stuff. And you guys, all caps, do keep me in good spirits. Thanks, everyone. Let me just say that texture. I had problems sleeping last night, too, Steve. I, I'm like, why am I not able to sleep? This is nuts. You should have listened Second to our show on a podcast. <laughs> Put me to sleep right away. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're such a funny guy. Thank God you're making me healthier. I tell you to go F yourself. Yeah. So it says, you might put smiles on my faces, but Vicky puts rises in pants. Nice. That's the true hero here. <laughs> Good job, Vicky. Yay. Yeah, see that, Vicky? You, you, you have a purpose, too. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Send your pictures to Vicky at dpick.com. Another person says, I don't even wash my hands anymore. I just listen to BJ and me. <laughs> Nobody's ever got to. All right, too far. Too far. Too far. To. Too far. Right. I mean, look, you listen to our show, and you know what? You will never need to go to the doctor ever again. You don't have to. They'll go, holy cow, what's happened to you? Bill of health, 100%. BJ and Migs, the Purell for your soul. The Purell for your soul. <laughs> Is that like Novocaine for your soul? Pretty much. No, <laughs> we don't numb the masses. We heal the masses, okay, buddy? Yeah, it's a song. Don't worry about it. Jeez. Gosh, man. man. Get up with your 90s alt-rock one-hit wonders. I know the song. I'm just saying. That Do you know the song? How does it go? I don't know how it goes. I know the song. You're lying. You're lying. You don't know the song. Who sings it? Tell us who. No, you tell us. Did you know the song? Oh, I, I'm, I, I've, I've heard. It? I've heard. I don't know who the hell does it. I've heard of the title. Yeah. I don't know. I know nothing else about it. <laughs> nothing else about the song. You don't know the song. I really don't. You don't think I know the song? I'm positive. Nova came for the soul? Yeah. 
That's a thing. I know. I haven't heard people say that. I don't know what band does it, but I've heard people say that before. Eels, man. I remember the video. They're all floating and stuff. You could tell me it was the Poo Poo Heads. I wouldn't know who well, the hell it, it is. it was to uh, them. Originally written by the Poo Poo Heads back yeah. in 1954. <laughs> yeah. But the Eels think... Let me we, see if I can give it to you right here. Rev, do you have it? Overcane for the soul. No. No. Oh, yeah? Well, you, t- you know what? I guarantee you can try to sing it to me, and I still won't know what the okay, song is, and nobody go. else will. Okay. Go ahead. No Overcane for the soul. That sounds like just what I did. <laughs> no. You no Novocaine for the soul. See, you ain't Novocaine. Oh, it's yeah. Novocaine. It's a oh, difference. Oh, you know what? I don't know that song. Yes. Yeah, I, I only own Novocaine for the soul. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the actual one? Here we go. I don't try. See? Oh, actually, I actually do know this song. Oh, wow. You know what? I never knew what they were saying. It's a good song. Actually. It's a great song. Yeah, it's a good song. That guy, he's, he's been through some crazy stuff. Though. Well, dude, he wants to be numb. I mean, yeah. that guy, did he have a heroin problem? I'm not sure what he had, but he had something. I mean, because anybody I mean, that yeah, wants I to be numb. coronavirus. Uh, oh, he had coronavirus. Yes. Because it, isn't Novocaine for the Soul just basically comfortably numbs follow up? <laughs> wow, kind of, kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, like an alt rock, one hit yeah. wonder version of it. Yeah, I think that's all that is. Yeah, man. So it says you need to play right now after BJ's rant. By right. Van Halen. Oh yeah, right now. That was a good, great song. I, if we knew how to access music, but we don't. It's, I mean, I don't know how to get these things. Used to be, I'd go pull the record off the shelf, but we had to say everything's all digital now. You know why? Because they're socially distanced me from the music. Oh, so it says it's dumping snow in Bonnie Lake, Washington. Right oh, now. great dumping. Dumping. Really? Yeah. I heard that we weren't going to get fix it. that now, BJ. Oh, <laughs> listen, man. What are you talking about? The kids get to play in the snow. They got they get something to do outside now since they're not in school. The texter said, "I broke my wrist yesterday after listening to you guys this morning. It's magically better." See, you're right. We are the cure all because we put a smile on your face and we don't sit there and we don't doom and gloom everything. And and I had I did have a tough night sleeping. Late. Anybody else? Is it just me that's having a hard time sleeping? No. Since show? I got back, I've been sleeping great. Yeah, I slept really good last night. You know what's really sad is I finally became a responsible adult. Okay. Uh, and, and now that I'm a responsible adult... You don't I'm need pe- to wear condoms even if you're not having sex when you go to bed. That's probably why you can't yeah, sleep. I've never, ever had to worry about oh, getting okay. condoms in my life. Okay. Because, again, you have to have sex. You know what I mean? That's the thing. So why that's, that's a the responsible one thing. responsible adult? Well, because financially and everything, you know, I've never been responsible financially. This is, this is something I've done very late in life, and I've had to do the catch-up on the 401k and all that, and I mean, that's how bad I've been in my life. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you know, I've been a, I've been around for a lot of tough stuff in in society financially. I've been alive, but I've been a guy like, well, I don't have any money, so it's not like I lost anything. Other people complaining about losing money. I haven't lost anything because I don't have anything because I don't save anything because I keep getting yelled at by my father and my friends. Mm-hmm. You're an idiot, blah blah blah. And then I was the kind of guy that would come out with my hands on my shoulders because I remember back in 1987 they said the oh, last when time it was bad, yeah, yeah, and I would come out and go, ha. I don't have any problems. They go, wow, what did you do? What was your strategy? My strategy was not to save money in the first place. Ha ha! And I used to joke around, and then eventually I got older and said, yeah, I should not. And now I think that's leading to my why I can't sleep at night. Oh, because you're losing money? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. See, you, are, you like, are you like me going, ah? No. I saw it, and I was like, ugh. And I, you know what I tell myself? Not checking my 401k. I'm just going to just act. Oh, I'm not, I'm not smart, going anywhere man. near it because I did that a, a year or so ago when it was like a big dip. And I looked, and I'm like, I lost all this money. And I was like really pissed for a few days. And then I checked like a week after, and I'm like, oh, everything's back to normal again. It's just not even worth it. You're right. Because uh, you'll short term dry yourself nuts. You are absolutely right. And yet, I mean, I, I know it's causing me some concern because I've never paid it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really paid attention like this. At all. And I have been like saving money, you know, recently in my life. So I could have been paying attention, but I didn't. I just let it go there and talk about highs and lows. I mean, at the end of last year, my, my financial guy and I sat down and we're, I mean, we're, we went to lunch and we're, we're tipping our glasses because it was a great year for everybody. Mm-hmm. And now I can't even find my financial guy. Yeah. He's gone. You know, if you listen to our show, you would not worry about your uh, money issues. That's a good thing. I got to listen to our show, but you yeah. told me that it's not that big of a deal and, and, and our show really isn't that helpful. So now I got to, I don't know who to believe. And Rev says, because I was negative one time in my life, yesterday. I'll never be happy ever again. It's, it's because literally yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, Great. it's dumping snow in Puyallup at South Hill now, according to one person. It really Is it really dumping? I mean, you know, I come from New England. I, I, I define dumping. Well, that's the Rev. <laughs> And on that note, yesterday Steve did get this one right. 
What does the R in the government agency IRS stand for? Revenue. Yes. Finish the title Urban of the R. West. Shyster. Wow. Oh, that was comedy right there. See, the, you just you just prevented somebody from getting sick. Well, if you're a wrestling fan, you appreciated that. I appreciated so, it. Yeah, I didn't even know what you were talking about. That's fair. Mike Rotunda. Oh, thanks. Was he really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't thanks realize for, that. I just thanks for telling was... me that. I don't really care, but I appreciate That's it. That's who played IRS. It doesn't val- invalidate the last comment I made. You know, he almost became a uh, tag team with The Undertaker. Right, I'm going to just And they're going to be called yeah. Death and Taxes. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty clever. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that, that I like. You want to... Sh- what? You, you want... Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. You want a shot at beating Steve? You know what? You got it. 206 421 Rock. Get yourself healthy. Beat Mix at 647. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I figure out who my creditors are? Now, people a lot of times have had a lot, of, a long time of not having good credit and having collections, and so they, they're concerned that uh, you may be concerned that you, you won't be able to find all your creditors if you file bankruptcy. How will I know which collection agency has my credit card bill from 10 years ago now? Uh, and that's that's something that's hard to keep track of when because credit collection agencies transfer your debts all over the place. But we will pull all your credit bureaus, and by getting all three of your credit bureaus, we'll be able to tell who has your credit and debt now, uh, which collection agencies have had it in the past, and we'll make sure that we file all your creditors when we file your bankruptcy so that nothing slips through the cracks. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choose the right. Cha- Chapter.com. Thanks for listening. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Cal-